this has got to be the craziest thing I think I've ever seen trapping, hunting in the woods, anything. We just drove up on these a little bit ago, but the only saw that we have is this little wicked saw. I'm gonna try to saw them apart. If, you, if you'll saw, I'll run the camera. Let's see what we can do here. chewing on him but cut the live one yeah cut the live one hold on hold Bang on beams. let's kind of try to figure out where we need to cut them and do it without getting that easy bud cut that main beam right there this side will come right loose or this or this time right here <clears throat> this time just get somewhere where they're not gonna go over you He don't like that noise, does he? No. Gotta keep that wire out of the way. Good job, dude. Whew. That was insane. And that's the deer that's dead is a stud. Check this out. Here. I'll try to get him out of the fence. Pop him out of the fence. Oh, that one's a lot. Yeah. It's crazy. Yeah. He's been dead for a little little while. Not not real long, but that wire got all in his head. Mainframe 12 point with some kickers. Crazy. Wow. And here's the antler. You see where he's been on that? Tangled up in that wire. Luckily they were tangled up in that wire right there. If they hadn't been entangled up in that wire, it'd have been pretty tough to even get up there with a saw. Luckily, we had I had this saw in my truck, and that's the only thing we had. It'd have been better if we'd have had a sawzall or something, yeah, motorized for sure. Probably not uh, made for sawing antlers in half, but it did the job. Crazy. Probably scared the coyotes off of it. Probably. So now, next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna set some traps right here. Probably drag him off in the brush just a little bit. And uh, we're gonna catch the coyotes that was eating the dead one. Trap on. <laughs> <laughs> 